Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about a Java GUI class called the JEditor pane. So a JEditor pane is a class used to create a simple text editor window. And uh, this particular class uses uh, popular methods like the set text method and the set content type method. So for example, the set text method is used to set the initial text content of your text editor. Meanwhile, the set content type method is used to set the content type to be um, in your text editor. You can set uh, a plain text content type, for example, or you can also use uh, HTML content type in your text editor. I'm going to show you these two examples using the plain text content type and then the HTML content type. So let's jump right in the code. So as I told you, if you want to create a text editor window in your uh, on your frame, for example, you have to use the J editor pane class. So I'm going to say J editor pane. I will call this editor pane like this. And then I will say new J editor pane. Then semicolon. So I need to import the J editor class. Import like this. That's okay. So one thing I will show you first is if I want to add my um, editor pane to the frame, what should I do? So I'll simply say this, that, that add. No, I will use the set content pane um, rather. So I'll say set content pane like this, and then I will pass in editor pane as a parameter. So let me run. So now you can see that we are having a cursor on our um, frame. So this is actually making sure that my frame is now uh, an editor pane, okay? Because of this line here, we said set content pane, editor pane. So the frame content pane is going to be considered as an editor pane. And as you could see, I was able to type in some text in my editor. So I was talking to you about the set text method. So if I want to set some text to the editor pane, I will simply say editor pane like this that set text and in here i'll pass in a string value i will say this is some initial text for example this is some initial text and when i click on run now you can see that i'm having some initial text and i can add some text here okay so that's it uh we could also use uh the set content type method so by simply saying editor that set content and in the brackets, I'll pass in text forward slash plain. So this is going to make sure that the text, oh, let me correct this. I'll say editor pane. So this line of code is going to make sure that the text type, the content type is going to be a plain text. Okay. So if I say um, this is some initial text and then exclamation, I'll say, please write some text on your, on your own. Okay, so now when I run, so now you can see the text. So this is plain text. The text is not really formatted. Um, so that's why we are having it like this. So I also told you that with the editor pane, with the J editor pane class, we can also uh, define the content type to be HTML content type. So what I'm going to do here is that I will change here the content type. So instead of saying text forward slash plain, I will say text forward slash HTML like this. So now this is going to give me the possibility to use some HTML tags. So for example, if I want to use the H1 tag here, I will simply say H1 tag title here, please. And then I will close the tag H1. And then I can also use the paragraph tag like this and close that paragraph tag here. So forward slash P and close the paragraph tag. All right. So now when I run, so now you can see that my HTML tags are really uh, making effect. So this is the title. It's bold because we said H1 tag. And here it has started on the next, in the next line because we use the P the paragraph tag. So this is actually the text editor um, class. So the J editor pane allows you to create a text editor. You can use plain text editor, or you can also apply some HTML tags to structure your text in the editor. 
So with the HTML content type, we can also use some inline CSS. For example, let's say that we want to change the color of the text here. So in the H1 tag, we will simply say style. If you want to style the text and equal. So we will open and close the brackets. So inside these double quotations, we are going to pass in some CSS properties. So I will say color colon red, for example. So I'm having an error because of this double quotation. So I will use this back space after these um, double quotes. Let me say semicolon here. So when I run, now we can see that the color of the text has changed to red. So you can actually play around these various um, HTML tags so for example, I will copy this and come here, say, if I want to change a color to blue, for example, I can also talk about the font size, let's say 20 pixels. And then when I run, now you can see that the font has increased. There's a typo here about the color. So I'll say blue. What do I need to do here? Uh, okay, this back pack space, this, I'm gonna say blue here. So now when I run it, you can see the color of the text has changed to blue and I've also increased the size of the text. So that's what I want to show you about HTML content types. You can also add in some styling using inline CSS to change the color. You know, you can use the various properties of uh, CSS, like the margin and all of that. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.